<clears throat> I ain't got no voice. But all I can say is this morning is, Lord, I thank you. God. Life keeps moving on. And I look to you. Ooh, I look to you. And when all my strength is gone, in you I hear a song. I look to you. I look to you. I look to you. And when melodies are gone, and you I hear a song, I look to you, I look to you. And when melodies are gone, in you I hear a song. I look to you. Ooh. Good morning, good afternoon, my illustrious family. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. And that's all I can say is I look, I look to you. Because right now, what's going on in this world is just so off-centered and out of balance and out of order. We out of line. We out of order. And the whole country is out of order and out of alignment. We're like tumbleweeds blowing through the desert. We are self-destructing. And as a country, we are destroying ourselves from within. Oh, you don't got to worry about no terrorists from Iran or Iraq or Africa um, coming in to do anything from the Sudan. You need to look right here in this cesspool of madness because America will be destroyed from within, just like all the other great empires, from Egypt, Rome, to France. Remember Marie Antoinette? Let them eat cake. You see where they ass is at now, right? And this is going to be America's fate, because if we don't learn how to get this together real soon. Now, personally, I'm, I'm not very optimistic. There's a time the Bible speaks about that's going to be like no other time. It's going to be a people like no other people that was on the earth before. And I do believe that we are coming up on that time. We have people who have a sense of lawlessness, who have who are unfeeling, uncaring. Um, and the love of many has waxed cold. There is no love. You want to know what's wrong with these kids? Ain't no love. What did Tupac say? The hate you give little infants fucks everybody. That's thug life. The hate that you give little infants fucks everybody. Did I make it plain enough for y'all? So you got a lot of murderous souls running around here because they ain't been shown no love. They haven't been shared, sh shared and shown any compassion. And in turn, they don't have no love and no compassion for nobody else. This is where we live in right now, y'all. And only us can change it. I believe that God has found favor with America so long because of her principles, what she set herself up on. She set herself up to be the Khalifa of the world. For those of y'all who understand, she was given authority to rule over everything. Look at her. She was the country that came forth in a few hundred years and amassed great wealth. 
great wealth. But they also did great human destruction. Namely on African American, the black bodies. Oh, they did some harm to the Chinese bodies and the brown bodies. But black people have been a perpetual eyesore, a perpetual, a proverbial other for white society. And nobody want to talk about that. And because we can't deal with it, we turn it on ourselves. We have so much misplaced anger, so much evilness in our souls. And this is not the people that God intended us to be. He didn't set us up and give us magic to become these people on the earth that everybody is um, fearing and, and dreading to even be around and, 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 and are recognized for their filthiness and degradance as, as opposed to their spirituality and their uh, gifts with giving literature, religion, music, arts, and everything to the world. We've given it all. And we continue to. But we at a crossroads, people. We are at a crossroads with ourselves and with our community. Look at Texas. Poor white people, I don't know how in the hell do y'all get off on saying, but we white, so we still better because we white. I don't understand why poor people and poor white people and black people can't link arms and, and anything that's poor and destroy the elite class. What did that show you in Texas? It should have showed you what Michael Jackson said. All I want to say is that they don't really care about us. Ah! Uh. All I want to say is that they don't really care about us. Should you be con Do you need to be convinced? If you do, you're a sick ticket. You're a sick ticket. And that's why I keep my hands to the plow. Because most of y'all don't have a clue. Most of y'all just regurgitate information that have been given to you, passed on generation and generation. You don't have a damn clue if it's true or not. And you don't even have the will or the desire to, to see if it is. You're just wasting your life with the same old crap that has no life in it. Matter of fact, it's full of dead man's bones. And you can't blow no life into it because it's dead. It's dead. I want to talk about briefly this devastating after devastating news about the mom she describing her three children and they were amazing and her mom and how they were all killed in Texas. I want to give a shout out to all my family in Texas. And I know y'all on the brink of recovery and I hope y'all haven't suffered too much damage. But from what I'm hearing, it's been a lot. And it's been sad. So I want to give a shout out and let y'all know that God is still the head. He's still in control. Global warming is real. He's using the elements to get our attention. And the politicians, they're going to keep on politicking. That's what they're going to do. But let me bring this short story to you. Um, and then I'm going to let it go because it's so sad. A grief-stricken mother has described how a blaze ravaged her Texas home, killing her three amazing children and their grandmother after they lit a fire to keep warm. Olivia Edison Colette Nugent and their grandmother, Lee Lowen, 75, died in the early hours of Tuesday, February 16th, morning at their Sugarland home in the state after, during the statewide blackouts and water outages. It is unclear how the fire start or fire started or the fuel being used. 
the fireplace downstairs, the home, and the home bedroom upstairs. My God. Uh, oh. On Monday, oh, she looks so devastated. On Monday, Lone Lee, the children's grandmother, lost power at her home in the Houston suburb of Sugarland and went over to her daughter's house around five miles away. Nugent and her three sisters, sis her three children still had power. We thought we were really lucky because we still had power until the early evening, Nugent said. But their power soon went out as well. So the family hunkered down for the night lighting the fireplace and playing board games and card games. In the meantime, a fire had broken out with Sugarland firefighters responding to a fire at around 2 a.m. that had been reported by a neighbor who had found the family's home up in flames. Mm -hmm. The three children and their grandmother died while Nugent and a friend were taken to a hospital having suffered injuries and including smoke inhalation and burns. Nugent told the network of her grief, saying, my heart is broken. I'm never going to be the same. I'm in this crisis to tactical mode now, and I'm really focused on all this final arrangements because this is the last sort of thing I'm going to do for my kids. Do you see why I call this the mental health? Do you see the trauma as a society, as individuals that we are having to endure? The trauma? That if we don't get therapy to deal with and to talk about and to help with, that we are like drifter wood out on the ocean. The mother told the network she does remember being on the first floor of the house where her bedroom was, but being unable to get upstairs to her children and was screaming their names, hoping they would appear. I was just standing there and screaming and screaming and screaming their names, hoping that they would come out of their rooms and basically jump over so that we could get out. I just remember feeling like it was so dark and I can still kind of hear everything cracking around me. Adolf said that the mother of three had to be physically restrained from running back into the house. And that took nearly an hour to get the fire under control. Oh, God. He all, big house. He also said that there were no updates on the ongoing investigation into the cause of the fire nearly a week later, only saying that the family had been trying to keep warm with a fireplace um, based a post on and based on their posts in social media. We can't say for sure that that was the cause of the fire. We just don't know yet. It's possible that the investigation may never identify the exact cause. Obviously, though, they were trying to stay warm. We can't say that, that that's what the cause was. We just think, we just know they were using a fireplace. Very sad. Very, very, very sad. There's a lot of volunteers preparing to load foods in Houston, the few food banks, thousands of people lined up to receive stuff. Um, it was really a disaster. Really a disaster. Making sure I get my beet juice in this morning. If y'all aren't drinking your beet juice, you need to start drinking it. You need to continue to drink it. Keep your cells aerated. Keep your blood pressure down. Keep your body in motion and moving in the right direction. Don't forget your beet juice. Oh, my God. The GoFundMe page for the children had already raised over $300,000 with donations coming in a week after the tragedy. Um, I'm going to... I believe set up a GoFundMe page for my brother 
and I'm hoping that um, I'm not out of bounds in doing it. But um, I think it needs to be done. And um, when I don't, whenever you think your situation is bad, there's always somebody who has something even worse. And so you have to find time to take for a minute off of your situation and say a prayer for somebody else. This is mental torture and trauma for this woman to have lost all three of her children and her mother at the same time. And there are so many people in America that are just traumatized. And you can tell by the behavior on the planet, whether it's a natural disaster that traumatizes us or whether it's some disaster in the hood where somebody just come up and roll up on you and then blow your brains out. Either way it goes, it's trauma. And we are the most traumatized people that history has ever known. From the whole of the slave ships. To the cannibalism that we are now experiencing within our own communities. My prayers go out to the Nugent family. And I'm going to ask y'all to continue to pray for mine. God be the glory and may you be blessed. If you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, subscribe, and share. Shoot me an email. And I will definitely still give you more information as more information becomes available. Thank you very much and have a blessed day.